Hey guys, this is Dr. Martin Smith. I'm a board certified allergist. I would like to debunk seven myths about the preservative phenoxyethanol. This is one of the most widely used and safest preservatives used today. We have a ton of safety data dating back to 1950. It doesn't react with other ingredients in the formula. It doesn't react with air or light. There are several myths perpetuated about phenoxyethanol, usually by clean skincare brands or the EWG or the Yucca app. Myth number one, it is an endocrine disruptor. This is simply not true. As far back as 2050, the EPA has emphatically stated that phenoxyethanol has no estrogenic properties. Furthermore, there is no scientific data in humans to suggest that it is a reproductive toxin. Groups that perpetuate this myth point to data from rabbit studies where they used more than 200 times the dose than any human would ever be exposed to. If you go to the database endocrinedisruption.org, you can type in any compound and see if it's listed as an endocrine disruptor. If you type in parabens, it will come up. If you type in propylene glycol, a very common ingredient in some skincare brands, it'll also come up, but there are no results for phenoxyethanol. The second myth is that it disrupts your microbiome on your skin. Though phenoxyethanol is very effective at killing the bad gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria and molds that can grow in products, it only has a very mildly inhibitory effect on the resident flora or the microbiome of the skin. The third myth is that it is not a naturally derived preservative. This is not true as it actually naturally occurs in green tea and in chicory. It is more environmentally friendly and pure to produce it synthetically and that's why this form is used in skincare. Fourth myth is that other natural preservatives such as sorbic acid and benzoic acid are better for you. Benzoic acid is actually a very frequent contact allergen. Studies show as we age, we become cumulatively more allergic to benzoic acid. And one study showed that it is the most common skin allergen found in people over the age of 60, as is shown in this table. As you can see, it is even more allergenic than nickel, which is overall the most common contact allergen if you look at all ages combined. The other myth is that other clean or natural preservatives are as effective as phenoxyethanol. If you remember, there were several TikTok story and articles posted about Kosas, where mold was found growing in their products. They use potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate as preservatives. In this table, which compares phenoxyethanol to other preservatives, you can see that you almost need double the amount of sodium benzoate to inhibit the growth of pseudomonas in products. The other myth is that phenoxyethanol is harmful in humans and banned in some countries like Japan. This is simply not true. Phenoxyethanol is allowed in cosmetics worldwide in concentrations of less than 1%. As shown in that previous table, most formulations need much less than 1%, around 0.4% to be effective. As mentioned earlier, and as summarized in this article, studies that have shown harmful effects in animals used over 200 times the dose that humans would be exposed to. Studies have shown that some essential oils, such as grapefruit oil, are much more cytotoxic to skin cells than phenoxyethanol. So to summarize, phenoxyethanol is one of the safest and most effective preservatives we have. Lastly, the European Scientific Committee on Consumer Safety, which is the most stringent committee looking at skincare and skincare ingredients, they emphatically state that phenoxyethanol is safe for all consumers and children of all ages.